Now, after 69 years of hosting the Four State Regional Technology Conference, students like Rachel here at Pitt State want to make sure that students, teachers, and professors from all over the nation keep coming. Now, Joplin has been known to have high levels of lead and zinc because it used to be a mining community. Now, since the May 22nd tornado, higher levels of lead have been found throughout the soil, something Norman is concerned about when having his family over. Empire just recently finished the lights on 20th and will soon finish Main. Before the tornado, residents driving down Main Street could see lights off. Now, the road is almost too dark to drive on. Now, once at 26th and Adele, Jason and Ike would use these mass casualty incident triage vans. From there, they'd decide how bad the patients were and where they needed to go next. Now, the Joplin Regional Stockyard is the number one calf cattle auction in the nation. Usually, the U.S. exports about 20% of its cattle, and lately it's been up to 40 to 50%, meaning farmers selling cattle aren't the only ones that are soon going to be seeing a price change. And by prohibiting left hand turns made at the stop sign right behind me at 4th and Geneva, shoppers are less likely to get in accidents on Black Friday. And for Sydney, being able to use the resources that Pitt State allows her means one day finding a job outside of college. Now, a new study from the 100,000 Homes campaign states that 21.3% of homeless veterans are the age of 60 or older, like Leah, and either suffer from some sort of mental or physical health condition or substance abuse problem. Staff Sergeant Allen Hill suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder after serving in the Army for nearly 19 years. Now, their home was built especially quiet as to not trigger his PTSD, allowing the Army veteran to come home after spending time in a patient care facility. And even though some businesses are starting to rebuild, others still have concrete slabs and cars strewn across them. Now, out of the 100,000 thank you cards, 75% of them have already been signed, meaning 25,000 more need to be signed before next Tuesday. Now, for the past 13 years, Freeman Health System has been hosting the NICU Halloween Costume Contest, and this year, Gabriel got first place. Now, the houses were made with donations from companies like Tamco and Flygym, companies that are thankful and grateful to be doing their part to help rebuild Joplin. Some residents are excited about the sales and don't mind waking up early. Others are worried that it will start taking away time from their family on Thanksgiving. Rain or shine, these Joplin residents are coming out here to feed and find these tornado pets still hiding in the debris. Now the first street the five cyclists will hit as they're leaving Joplin is 26th Street. Eventually they'll get to Springfield, Missouri where they'll pick up eight more cyclists, passing through Tuscaloosa and finally ending their journey on October 26th in Atlanta, Georgia. Many different doctor's offices and pharmacies were across the street from St. John's. And now that the hospital is relocating, some of those businesses are as well. Different apartment complexes were knocked out from the tornado, like Hampshire Terrace. But now the question is, where are these people living and where are the new people moving to Joplin going to live? And even though Leona is still recovering from her injuries from the tornado, she looks forward to driving her school bus again. Bus number six. Now these church groups are coming from all over the U.S. just to volunteer from California to New Jersey. Band members like Gareth Evans are thankful for all the donations that have been made. Band director Rick Kasser says that the band has received roughly $400,000 worth of donations. Now because of the May 22nd tornado, Joplin residents like Gary Orton will soon have a different council zone, meaning whenever you have a problem, you'll have a new zone counselor to go to. Now the proceeds of the Christmas ornaments will go to buy Christmas trees for those who lost their homes and everything else in the tornado, like Misty and her family did. Doing labor on Labor Day is no match for this group. Give them a rake or sledgehammer and they're ready to go.